right, in this video, we are going to take a look at the micro bit and we're going to create a rock, paper, scissors game using the on shake command. So we're going to come into make code. We're going to pick a new project. We'll call it rock, paper, scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start with an on shake command. So we're going to go into the input category, pull out on shake. Um, I won't need these two, so I'm just going to put those into the tray for a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple of concepts, actually. Uh, one concept is the idea of variables. Uh, ver think of variables as a way of containing information that might change over time. And so we, get, we need to create a variable that will um, pick something for rock, something for paper, and something for scissors sort of randomly. And so we'll include a, a random um, command in here as well. Um, and then the second thing we're going to look at besides variables if, is if statements. Because we have to say if it comes out one way, show rock. If it comes out another way, show paper. And if it comes out the third way, or if it comes out any other way in this case, show scissors. So we're going to start with the variable. Um, under variables, you have the ability to make your own. And so I'm going to just, you can call it anything. I'm just going to call it hand, uh, because the hand is what's shaking in order to generate the rock, paper, or scissors. So we have this variable called hand. And once you do that, you have um, the variable available as well as a couple of blocks. And so uh, we have those here. I'm going to pull out a variable that says uh, set hand to something. We don't know what it is yet because we want it to be a choice between rock, paper, scissors, so that's three options. So we're going to come in and we're going to say something like um, set hand to a random number. Uh, a random number being one, one to three. It can't be that random. Um, and so we're going to pick a uh, property from our math that says random. Here we go. So we're going to just say pick a random number between 1 and 3. So uh, now this variable that we've created hand is just going to put one of those numbers when we hit shake. All right, so that's our variable. And then we have to figure out what we want to do with that variable. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring out an if statement. We're going to say if that variable equals 1, then do something, right? So uh, we go back, I believe it's here, yeah. All right, so we're gonna throw this into the if statement, and we have to tell it if hand equals one. So we go back to variables, we pick hand, we throw it inside this first circle there, and we say if it is equal to one, uh, what do we want it to do? So we want it to show what might look like a paper, piece of paper, so come in, I'm gonna just make something that looks like paper. So that's great. So if the number is one, make it show uh, a paper-like uh, icon. And we need to finish this off with two more parameters. So I'm going to hit the little plus sign at the bottom of the if statement. And uh, one more. Okay. So if it is one, we're going to do hand. And then let's just kind of take this. I think I can just duplicate this particular block here. And we're going to bring it in there, and we're going to say if hand equals 2, let's show a uh, another icon. So we're going to go like this, and we're going to take these out and maybe make them into a smaller version, which will become rock, I guess. I think that's a good one. Oops, sorry. So there's rock. And then let's get one more. I'm going to start from scratch here because it's a little easier. Uh, and we're going to make some scissors. So now here's the scenario, and I want to just kind of explain what what we have going through here. We're saying when we shake the micro bit, set the variable hand to the number one, two, or three. If it should be a one, then show this icon. If it should be a two, show this icon. If it's anything else, which can only be three, because we're only asking it to be one to three, then show this icon. So let's test this out on the simulator. All right, so there's scissors. There's paper. 
Okay, and so you can then save this. You download this to your micro bit and then go test with a partner to see who might win in rock, paper, scissors.